All right, there's the beach area. We need to search for that quest. Well, are those waves I hear? We must be near the water. Well, we are heading towards the coastal road. It runs through the port city and fishing villages alike, but you'd never know that from how few people actually use it. I imagine most travelers opt to use the sea routes instead. Cool, it'll make it easier to find and kick that wine monster's ass. It's supposed to appear on the beach. Let's make our way over there. Yeah, let's go. The beach, come on, I want to go. We're not sightseeing here. Yuna, you're getting too worked up. Visiting the beach is always nice, though. See the boss there, too. And can I even stun you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can. We strike. Nasty looking critter. Break through! Sledgehammer! Ah! Uh, strike! There! An opening! I'm going! And this one particular looks pretty hard to break. Let's Don't use like Cutie that. Bullet. It's mine! Sure. You're mine! It's down! Keep it up! Let's go! Present flash on this side. Get back! Now! Too slow! Very well. Strike! Wind blade formation! Very well. Huh. It's down! And okay, we are in a sort of a sticky situation here, aren't we? I'm gonna get hit most of them if I... Use Unbound Rage. Fine. Yes! Hmm. How good is Brilliant Shot? I also want to uh, test out her S-Craft, if possible. I already saw Ash's S-Craft the, in the playable prologue. Yes, let's see what you're made of, Muse. Say. I'll cast a spell on you. You can always run back to town if I need to. So pretty. Brilliant shot. I may have gone a little too far. It's my turn. That's most of them. Um, Shoot, now it's not even worth using Ash's S-Craft. <laughs> just finish these guys off normally. For now, I guess I'll just use Crimson Slash and try to have Musei get a little bit of CP back. Crimson Slash! Now! Keep it up! My turn! There! Keep it up! I'll end it! I'm up! Sure. Ja! Got no time to waste. Level up all around. Goose Barnacle. But those aren't geese. 
Nice! Uh, I found some treasure! Freeze 2. Not sure. Uh, uh, I already have freeze number 3, though. Potato seeds. You already buy potatoes for cheap, so I'm not sure what's the point of that one. Hmm. Looks like there's a side road. The monster is supposed to appear on a beach. If we want to explore, we should do so later. Hmm. No. Where does that path go? The speech is supposed to be full of monsters. We're at the beach! <laughs> it's so salty! <laughs> Come on, Allie! You guys too! Get in here! Who dives straight into the water like that? Getting soaked with seawater seems like it could be problematic. <laughs> I have to admit, that does look fun. All this sand and not a single sun-kissed lady in sight? What a waste. <laughs> Just try not to have too much fun. We're on here on a job, remember? I remember, I remember, really. In fact, maybe we should start tracking our monster down. The search begins. Well, first I need to complete that one quest. Mm, I want to get rid of some of the bigger monsters, too. I got this. I'm up! I'm going! Have here. Nice little hideaway. Passion leggings. It's also a fishing spot, but doing so will reset all the enemies, so I don't want to do that just yet. I'll do that after I get all the stuff required for the side quest, since I, I'm gonna, probably going to head back to town anyways. Oh, something shining. It's a beautiful shell. Jade shell. So this is a jade shell. It'd make for quite the accessory. No, uh not that one. It's too puny. The old part wanted a big one without any scratches on it. It's all the same to me, but I'd rather not have him widen about us giving him a tiny shell. Hmm, that's true. I'm sure he wouldn't say no to this one, but I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not to give it to him. Alright, if we have to time, I say we keep looking. Agreed, I can't imagine this is the only type of shell that's type on the beach. Oh look, another shiny thing. Oh boy, trash. It's not trash, it's kinda pretty. A swing and a miss, as they say. My, what do we have what have we here? Brilliant shade shell. Wow, it's gorgeous. It's certainly an attractive color, though it isn't very large. Well, it can't hurt to hold on to. There's still more? Seriously? We have to kill some enemies to get there, though. That's a jade shell, isn't it? Large. So close, if it didn't have this darn crack in it, it'd be perfect. It's not a bad size, too. What a shame. And of course, the next one is near all those monsters. May have to do a Link encounter. There's something there. One hundred mira coin. I'm sorry, if I was a JHL. Don't be sorry. We just scored hundred mira. You're remarkably enthusiastic about that. So there's still more. Oh man. Is it in this area, maybe? I don't see any shiny spots. Yes! Oh, 
Don't tell me it's near the boss itself. Oh, it was here after all. I'm gonna expect my little eye something. Flawless Jade Shell. No way, this is amazing. It's like three times bigger than the first one. Jade shellfish live a long life and continue to grow after, until their death. Their longevity is part of why they're used for celebrations. Judging from its size, they say this one lived for about 100 years. 100 years? So they can even outlive people. I can't imagine anyone could find fault with a shell like this. Looks like you guys found one you're satisfied with. Let's head back to the factory then. Hold on, let me check the... M, that means I actually- I could probably just go after the boss right now and still have time. Yes, that means by the time I kill the boss, it'll be back to duration S. Hmm. Ha! Victory! Ha! Fishing bait times eight. Then there's the quest monster. Yeah. Okay, we have the biggest one. Please give us the good stuff. Mr. Strauss, we brought you what you asked for. Hmm, well, well. This is a good jade shell. You're not too shabby. Oh, oh well, looks like it's good enough to make this. Um, does that mean... She were testing us from the very beginning. Oof, just let it go. I heard that Forest Branch campus can be a tough road. Oh, so... He was worried about Muse. He quit the, she quit the girls' school and transferred to the Branch campus. So he's sorry to have worried you. I hoped you could have some peace of mind. Oof, don't worry about me. It's the duty of the old to take care of the young. I was acquainted with your parents and account. Don't push- just don't push yourself too hard. See? Okay. And to the rest of you, good job today. Take this. Evergreen! Thank you. Wow, it seems to be worth more than what I expected. 50k worth. He's actually kind of a nice person worrying about Muse and all. I can't deny the decorations for the summer festival were lacking. I shall graciously, graciously use this. Now then, drop by again whenever you have the chance. Yes, AP. There! It certainly matches the description. So that's the wine monster. It looks very strong. This one seems to be in a whole other league than the others. Who cares? We're gonna mess it up either way. No, we're going to take it down calmly and carefully. It's not gonna be easy. Sure, it's my turn. Hey -ya! Grab some of this. Hmm, what would be the best approach for this boss? Hey -ya! Tough one. Ha! Yeah! This one might be worth my time. Okay. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! Yeah! Shining. I'm going! Present mirror. Sure. Not on my watch. Weak. Weak. Yes. Okay. My turn. Oh, good. More BP. Break through! Sledgehammer! I'm up! Huh. Take this! Ooh, 6,000. That was a magic type. Huh? 
My turn. Okay, just use this to quickly break. We love Forte would be good too. My turn. Ah, uh, strike. Ha! Yes. Break through, sledgehammer. Yes. Arcus, activate. Take this! Ooh! Nice! It's my turn! It's time to go all out. Windblade! Windblade formation! I'm up! Oh shoot, I don't think I have impassion, do I? It's my turn! <sighs> Spirit Unification! It's my turn! Okay, now we find someone to link with. Ha! Now! Too slow! Let's go. Hmm. Strike! Wind blade formation. My turn. Let's see, rain slash. Ah! Uh, strike! There. An opening. Let's go. Okay, still got a few more turns of this. Hmm. Ha! Now! Too slow! Perfect chance for him to do that. Okay, but... Beforehand, let's... Mm. Crazy Hunt or Iron Will. Uh, uh, Raging Fire. Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! It's my turn! My blade. Calm as still water. Now! Ah! Ha! Seven slash. Fallen leaves! Please do enough damage to kill. Ugh, there's still, uh, still a bit left, but actually, this is good. I can use this as an opportunity to get Reen a little bit more CP. <laughs> 12 hit points. <laughs> Intimidation courts. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, everyone. All right, got it. Helix. A series of burning slashes that ends of a tornado of flames. Enemy defeated. Didn't exactly go down easy. Nonetheless, we stand victorious. Jeez, it's a real shame that monsters had to show up and ruin a perfectly good beach. So close to the city, too. That's why it's our job to kill them. When I was young, it was well kept and people were able to swim undisturbed. But since the Civil War, it seems that maintenance has fallen by the wayside. You say everything okay? 
Oh, I'm fine. Have we completed all the required requests around the port city? Yeah, it's almost noon now, so let's head back to town. And we're locked in. Okay. Separate slot. Something's about to go down. Also, since... I might as well go do a little bit of fishing, too. Maybe use up an EP charge for Muse, or swap her out for someone else. Okay. Get back to the horse. I managed to refill all my CP from that from one of the tougher battles. The one that was guarding that last chest. Hmm. Sensing an evil presence, huh? Whom what? Quiet. Get down. What gives? I hear movement. Multiple people. They're not civilians. Listen closely. They're trained. Soldiers in an area of so few people so close to Ordus. I'm surprised you noticed, Ash. What, you thought you were the only one who picks up on this stuff? This is just what the Brigadier General's advisory pointed us to. We need to get to the bottom of this. Can you all keep up? We're gonna need to get bailed out. Of course, there's, they probably have reinforcements and then we're gonna need our own reinforcements. Who do you think you're talking to? I will give this my all. Shall we then? It should be around these hills, a side off the coastal road. Something is close by. Don't make any sudden movements. Yes, sir. They're on the move. Let's follow them. That way. Oh, this, they won't even let me use my... Ha! Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't use my bike or horse because those would make too much noise. Just gonna have to hope my current formation will be good enough to deal with them. Oh, yeah. Sit. Confirmed targets are on the move. They should be just beyond here. 20 arch from targets. Take care. Hmm. Now who could they be? Okay, hide behind this tree. I'm sure they sensed us too, so they must be laying an ambush for us. Oh, I don't see anyone. Yeah, it's an ambush, all right. Let's hope my team is up for this. I'll see... Four of them. There! What do we do, Instructor? Just as your training taught you, cover the exits. Altina, Ash, think you can circle around? Wait, am I going to be forced to use a certain party? Understood. Done, done. Oh shoot, I may have to reorganize my party. So what do you learn about the dragon's formation? It's just, just as we fought, hardly any guards around the detour. If we can get behind them and take the area to the southwest, we should be able to take them out with a surprise attack. There are two Jaeger groups other than the Zephyr and Red Constellation, huh? Dragons, don't move! What the? Enemies! Ugh! We can surround them instead of them surrounding us for once? Please do not move. Gotta watch your back, man. Women and children, wait, those uniforms! You're those students, aren't you? But why would you have that puppet? You know about that puppet? We're Class 7 Special Ops of Forest Military Academy's branch campus. We notice your suspicious activities while on our patrol. Care to explain yourselves? Green Schwarzer? The Russian Chevalier himself. What the hell are you doing here? They certainly seem like professionals in a way. Yeah, and it seems they've got a bone to pick with me. On the contrary, we don't have anything against you. You could say we're grateful to you in a sense. What? But as long as you sound the Empire, we can't allow you to get in our way. If you stand against us, we'll take you down. Could they be opposing the Northern Jaegers, or are they the Northern Jaegers? I can't tell. Targets confirmed as Jaegers. Begin suppressive maneuvers. Combat links on. Watch out for counterattacks. Yes, sir. 
Okay, good. I get to keep my formation. Okay. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! I'm up! Here I go! Stack all the good shit. Sure. Let's hope we don't have too many arts. Oh no! Oh! It's my turn! Breakthrough! Sledgehammer! It's my turn! Crimson Slash! Here I go! Set Gunner! Brave Smash. <laughs> Damn, I'm not getting any unbalances on them. Let's go. My turn. It's really impossible to hit all three. Damn. You're mine. It's yeah, my I think turn. it poisoned and burned one somehow. Helix. I want to see how good that is, even if it costs a ton. Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! Now! Finally, unbalanced. It's mine. <laughs> Let's go. What he's doing, shit. Let's go! Uh, there! Nah, nah. There! Whew. Sure! Hmm. This is bad, actually. You're mine! It's down! Too slow! All right! Wide open! Too slow! It's my turn. Hmm. Strike wind blade formation. Let's go. Form. Now! It's mine! My turn! Uh, 
strike! There! An opening! I'm up! Crimson Slash! It's down! Let's go, everyone! Understood! Yes. Got it! Yes. Yes. Really wish I had Dark Matter right now. So I could actually hit them all. Okay, that might work. You're mine! Yeah! An opening! Why, you? Let's go! Hmm. Ah! Strike! Hate's down! An opening! It's my turn! The guy in the back, he's gonna start moving again soon. That could be bad. Gotta hurry up and do something about him. Strike! Windblade formation! It's my turn! Hmm. Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! <laughs> now! Too slow! A oh, pity. A pity. I got this. Do we have any good AT delays? Not really. Oh, I petrified him. He's dead. He is very dead. I can pretty much just leave this guy because I don't as I don't think you can even recover from petrify over time. Ah, Our chance! An opening! Let's go! Just gonna wail on this one. Ha! It's down! Too slow! My turn! Strike! Wind blade formation! Sure! It's down! It's mine! No oh, pity. Here I go! My turn! And dead. Why, you? Now, let's continue onward. Yeah, I did it! I wonder who will bail us out this time. Even though we curb stomped these guys. I have a feeling they're still gonna. We're still gonna need some rescuing from reinforcements or I must something. Train even more. <laughs> nice. Stats updated. Ebon Shade, self, physical, reflect, and stealth. <laughs> I grew a little. Yeah, they are not even on their knees. Everything we did to them back there didn't even matter. Not even that petrification. Damn, we were so focused on the Ashen Chevalier that we took the students too lightly. We should have accounted for that. So these are Jaegers, huh? They're pretty tough. Come on, you fought them. You fought the Red Constellation people before, sort of. If they keep coming, we'll just keep kicking their asses. We're capable fighters. You must be from the, some higher ranked corpse. But which one? Instructor! Two o'clock! Get back! Clam Slyus. Yeah, we're good. I knew they had reinforcements. That's a lot new of new enemies. They're everywhere. Damn. Huh, it seems the shoe is on the other foot. I was wondering why you hadn't rendezvous, but I, uh, rendezvous, but I never would have expected you were being held up by the Ashen Chevalier. I think we'd run to you so far from home. Also, again, who are you, and how do you know me? Your armaments, your uniforms, I can't say I've seen them before, so they're not the Northern ones. You don't deserve any answers. You won't die today, Chevalier, but we're not letting you go unharmed. We didn't come all this way just to have you spoil things, after all. 
All units prepare to withdraw. I'll cut you in the escape route. But, hell no, I'm not about to owe you one. That's as far as you go! Cha! He's quick! Fuses! His S craft does utilize a horse, huh? Oh, we didn't get to fight the cougars. Uh, another puppet? Wait, isn't that. Million! <sighs> it seems my bad feeling was correct. One, two, three. Uh, it's gonna be hard to catch them all. Let's just catch, like, one of each type. You have the advantage in numbers, but we've already broken your formation. Are you sure you want to continue this? <laughs> Stand down. We've lost enough men for one day. D4, S5! <clears throat> Flash grenade! Everyone down! Uh, no! Get back here, you bastards! Someone's gonna block it. No, it's just Russian Chevalier. Don't reach Stars far enough. Of Thor's. You've bested us once. It will not happen again. Damn, they don't have the whole of grudge. We lost them. Damn it. Flash grenades? I wasn't expecting that. If only we could have reacted more quickly. They outfoxed us. We weren't good enough. <laughs> yes, we were. We all came out of the situation unharmed. Let's learn from this mistake. Right! Very well. I won't repeat this error. Whatever. <laughs> I see you're putting all that positivity to good use, Reen. <laughs> it's like you were born to be an instructor. It's good to see you, Yusis. Hello again, Milliam. Was it just last month I saw you? But hold on, weren't you supposed to arrive tonight? Our airship was ready earlier than we'd anticipated. And as a result, we just landed at Ortis Airport minutes ago. But, as soon as we did, we heard from Patrick and came after you. <laughs> it was a total coincidence, but it really seemed like we had it all planned out, huh? You discerned our whereabouts so quickly. <laughs> it's almost comforting how little you two have changed. But come on, galloping to our rescue atop a white stallion? Even you have to admit that's a little much. Well, Gaius already did that back in uh, CS2 in, at Nord Highlands. <laughs> Such an entrance comes naturally to me, I suppose. You and me both, Yusis! So this guy is Governor General Rufus's... His younger brother, yes. <laughs> and the half-stack's one of Little Bunny's relatives, too. She isn't exactly your relative. Forgive us, we haven't yet introduced ourselves. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. Nice to meet ya! And I'm Yusis Alborea, second son of Duke Alborea. It's a pleasure to meet you. My class seven successors. Twelve thirty PM. Du Cayenne's mansion. Let's see what this uh, Marquis, uh, Marquis is like. Um, let me make sure I've got this straight. We have House Cayenne to the west and House Alborea to the east. House Ragnar to the north and House Hiram is to the south. That makes up these make up the four great houses. 
Yes, you can consider them the leaders of the nobility. And we have two out of four right here. I'm the third son, so I'm really only here to observe. Eustace is the actual representative for House Alborea. Temporarily. Duke Cayenne is in prison while Marquis Ragnar declined to participate. The situation is more or less the same as last year. It's too bad. I understand why it is what it is, but it's still concerning. What about it? Well... If you won't say it, I will. The era of nobility being in power is over. What? Now he didn't hold that one back one bit. It pains me to hear, but that makes it true nonetheless. I'm sure he fell in Severland, but Lemaire and Cruzen are getting more and more influenced by the government as well. I imagine it intends to do away with the current tax system entirely through the 8 Metropolis plan. I believe the Empire does need to change. Moving forward with social reform too quickly will only result in confusion and unnecessary conflicts. There have reportedly been instances of ruling lords relinquishing their land, only for that land to be bought out by companies and the common people living there forced out. I think I heard something similar. Restructuring the government is a rational move from their perspective, but this isn't the way to go about it. I agree with you. But it's hard to go against the word of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Reen. What was that? Our strategy to counter this rapid change will be one of the main focuses of the Imperial Provincial Council. That is our duty as a nobility. You needn't be for forced to focus on anything but your own duties. Eustace. You have yourself a deal. I'll be rooting for you. Heh, <laughs> leave everything to me. I hope your own exercise is also rewarded in time. So do I. So I'll let we confirm if there are Jaeger corps running, roaming the area. I've, all, uh, I've already contacted both the Brigadier General and the RMP. If only we could figure out who they are. They don't belong to either of the ones that appear in Severland, right? No, judging by their uniform. But their gear didn't match with anyone registered in the database. We should already have a pretty good grasp of all the corps in the western side of the continent. What if it is an existing corpse or some other group in disguise? That's always possible. I had to wager a guess, they would be... They said something about their enemy. The, the Dragon's Formation, whatever that means. I'm surprised you heard them. Interesting, so these purple Jaegers have an enemy. They're by the use of formation, they're patrolling in hopes of executing a surprise attack on them. That sounds enough for me. But who are these dragons? Hmm, does ring a bell. I feel as though I remember it as part of information we've already gathered. I have to wonder where these purple Jaegers intend to go. We saw them heading toward the eastern hillside. Towards the field exercise camp? Oh no! No, it, was qu it wasn't quite there. I mean, there's like nothing in that direction. Even if you go along the river, you just hit the canyon. What if that was their destination? If the dragons are already in position within the canyon, then the Jaegers can go and launch a surprise attack. I can see that. Instructor, we're going to recoil this afternoon, right? It's in the area we just passed this morning on train. The area is called Languedoc Canyon. We'll be passing through anyway, so we may as well look into this. I know the area pretty well myself. It's like your own personal playground, you naughty naughty boy. Whew, easy easy. <laughs> Glad to have you around. And I'll leave everything related to Raquel and Jaeger to you. We'll make our way there as soon as we contact the camp. Ooh, maybe I can go too. It's about time for the Millie Tilly Lammy Sammy reunion special. I'm okay. Both instructor and students were treated to a modest lunch of sandwiches and tea. Upon finishing, they said their goodbyes to Eustace and Patrick. Sheesh, I was thinking this last time we, uh, we passed through. When nobles are rich, they're really rich. Having that much money must rot your brain. I m imagine maintenance on a manor of this size costs a small fortune. What well, is the castle of the most prosperous noble family in the Empire? I've heard that Albrea home is pretty sizable as well, Lord Eusus. Well, as you might imagine, it can hardly be compared to this one. I don't know, I say it's apples apples. William's right, I remember my jaw dropping when I first saw your place. Hold on, who are these people? 
Ah, my lord. I see you've returned. Are these friends of yours, Patrick? The conference is only a day away, so I... Uh, hold on. Aren't you... Eustace Alberea, Duke Alberea's second son. I do believe we've met before, in the capital. Ho oh, ho! Well, you've certainly shot up like a beanstalk since then. I hardly recognize you. Oh, it's a shame about your father. But Rufus has been making quite a name for himself. With Kreutzen in your capable hands, I have no doubt that the Alborea name will be well on its way back to greatness. Though still nowhere near the level of House Kyan. <laughs> What's this guy's problem? It seems the rumors are true. Oh, your face is a familiar one too. That's right, you were in the, that metal ceremony in the capital. You're the Ashen Chevalier. Now I'm an instructor at a military academy. Reen Schwarzer at your service. These are my students from Forest Branch Campus. Hmm, now where, where have I heard of you? Oh yes, were you foisted onto Wallace? Anyway, I am Wilhelm Ballad, Interim Overseer of Lemaire. Though perhaps that interim disclaimer will be gone in the next couple of days. Ha ha ha! Now, Reen, I've heard the princess is quite taken with you. If you want, I suppose I could take you under my wing to improve your chances. A lower noble like you must hardly know how to comport himself among the aristocracy. I'm all right. What? Where the hell is that creepy old jerk from? Rudeness to start with. Mar Marquis Ballad, we heard his name in Ordis. He's the uncle of the now arrested Duke Cayenne, and next in line to be granted that very title. Huh? No way, he's going to be the most powerful noble in Erebonia? It does seem as though he's the leading candidate. Duke Cayenne sired no errors before his arrest, after all. Oh boy, the future of the poor city is looking bright. Hmm. Based on what he said, it sounds like one of the topics at the council will be nominating the next Duke Cayenne. Not officially, but yes. That doesn't necessarily guarantee that Ballad will succeed the previous Duke. But it's essential we choose a successor. If that shameful excuse for a noble were to be elected, he would clearly use the government solely for his own gain. I would never support such a candidate. Eustace, Patrick, I wish you both the best of luck with the council. Uh, I, uh, I'll be ring for you. Uh, thank you. Likewise, good luck with your missions. And Milliam, try to stay out of trouble. Roger that. I'll be home in time for dinner. That one girl, Count Egret's granddaughter. Oh, her? Her name is Musay. I believe she used to attend a girl's school in the capital. Why do you ask? Don't tell me you're smitten. Hmm. Count Egret was the advisor to the previous Duke Cayenne. However, when the now arrested Duke came to power, he pushed Count Egret into retirement. So, Reen, you off to Raquel? Yeah, after we stopped by the field exercise camp. You said you are going to do some intelligence division work around the mansion, right? I was under the impression that you'd come with us. I thought about it, but I figured you guys can handle these diggers on your own. Are you kidding me? If we need to be bailed out, that means you need to join the party so that we don't, we're less likely to be bailed out next time. I'm going to keep looking for info around the port city. Info about the society. Really? Do you find proof of their presence here? Nothing's concrete yet, but something was barring me. And the intelligence division too. They're getting real tired of always being a step behind the society. They couldn't rubber stamp my request to investigate this place fast enough. Damn, between her and the redhead, the intelligence division sounds like a circus. Milliam and Major Arendelle are likely the exception, not the rule. If that's your plan, Milliam, then be careful. We'll keep each other posted if we learn anything new, right? You bet your sweet hippy we will. Look forward to uh, what you learn in the canyon. Looking forward to what you learn in the canyon. Anyway, I'm off. See you later, newbies. Neil 
Newbies, I guess she is technically our upperclassman. It's nice to have one who's so cute. She's still only 15, it's true. But she's been through a lot and she knows what she's doing. We can rely on her. Hmm. Looks like Ellie doesn't buy it. There's not much of a family resemblance, but aren't you two sisters? For formally speaking. Still, I can't deny her combat experience. I imagine she'll be able to handle herself. We should focus on the task at hand. My thoughts exactly. Alright, back to the camp, then on to Raquel. Where can I... I can't teleport there. I have to go to the, the highway. Okay, so there's someone named Lady Eleanor that I need to speak to here. Not you, not you. You! Whew, we finally finished organizing everything. The only thing is this book. You, hey, I know, why don't you take it? I, I'm already done with it. I finished reading it on my long trip to Ordis. Hey, thank you ever so much. Memories are a strange thing. I heard you speaking to me from so far, uh, from far away. Make memories both good and bad, and then without realizing it, we forget them. I said nothing, but it seems like the angry, sad, and bitter memories are the ones that stick around the longest. I remain silent. If that's true, then I want you to be my si by my side every for every clumsy mistake and awful day I have, because I want to remember every moment I spend with you. Edgar? The voice struck my mind like ripples in a still lake, and my consciousness slowly returned to me. I was walking through the canyon, and Clementine was at my side. We had just finished delivering food to the Bracers training facility, and we're... Oh, we're on our way back to town. Wait, did I read the previous volume yet? Yeah, this was a fishing one. So it's just awesome fun, I said, rubbing my temples. Clementine put her hand to my uh, put her hand to my forehead to check my temperature. Well, it seems like you don't have a fever or anything, but if you're not feeling well, you should rest. She grinned at me and continued walking. Watching her, I wish this moment would never end. Why did you ask me to come with you that day? The vision I had of you speaking to me. Was it real or just a wishful daydream? Hey Edgar, what's your favorite food? Clementine turned around to look at me as we reached the highway. Um, I, know, I thought about it. Anything you make for me? That's such an Edgar answer, she giggled. Okay then, I'll make you something once we get back. Really? That sounds great, I said. I'm looking forward to it. Is there anything you don't like? She asked. Not really, I said, thinking it over. I'll eat pretty much anything. That must be nice, she said, smiling. Do you like tomatoes then, too? Yep, tomatoes too, I nodded. The word brought back a faint memory, like a tickle to the back of my mind. I just can't stand them myself, she said, shaking her head. After all, you don't like tomatoes. When I was little, my father tried to feed me a tomato, she told me. He spat it out. And I just spat right back out at him. The scene suddenly bubbled up in my mind again. Edgar? And you have no idea why, but you just can't eat them, right? What? She let out a small gasp. Yes, that's right, but how do you know? Just a guess, I said, looking away. I remember the scene I saw back in the restaurant. Her words just now were the same as back then. I can understand my s now, I mumbled to myself. It had been installed into my mind. Is Was he a Rosenberg doll in disguise as a human? Understand what? What are you talking about, Edgar? She asked, concern creeping across her face. She grabbed my arm and looked up at me. I... Before I could say anything, several figures rushed at us from the grass off the side of the highway. Monsters, Clementine yelled. Three feline monsters stood before us, blocking the road into town and hissing angrily. Edgar, Clementine whispered my name. She was trembling. I calmly moved her behind me. If we're on the highway, I said, that means the nearby orbit lights must be broken. What do we do? She clutched my arm tighter. We can't get into town, so let's go back the way we came, I said. Clementine looked like she was about to cry. I grasped her hand and held it tight. The braces will be able to help, I told her. We need to go back there, okay? She nodded. Together we turned and started running as fast as we could. We ran for what felt like forever. I lost track of how far we'd gone. Clementine was running out of breath. The sun was nearly set, done setting, and what little light remained in the dusky sky couldn't reach down to the canyon. We stopped for a moment, and Clementine st uh, stayed herself against the canyon wall to catch her breath. I'm so sorry for I'm slowing you down, she gasped. No, I'm the one who should apologize, I said. I thought we would have found the bracers by now. At that point, I didn't even know which direction their training facility was at anymore. Panic from the constant sound of pursuing Fritz footsteps has mauled my sense of direction. We just rest for a bit, I can. Clementine's spot was interrupted by the sight of one of the monsters leaping at her. She screamed. I grabbed a nearby branch and swung it as hard as I could. And knocked it out of the air right before it reached her. However, while I was preoccupied with the first one, two more circled around us. I felt sh several sharp claws dig at me. One of the monsters was on my back and the other on my leg. I turned and swung the branch again, knocking them away. 
He leapt at me once more, however, going after my head and shoulder next. The world became a blur. I swung the branch, hitting one directly in the head. It flew off a short ways and stopped moving. Edgar is surprisingly powerful. Now that I'm starting to think he really is a puppet of some sort. A high quality one if he's able to fight them off of a branch. Clementine stood by to the side watching in fear. Her hands pressed tightly over her mouth. One of the monsters started to approach her and I kicked it away. While I did, however, the one behind me left the back of my head tearing into me. Everything grew dim. I fell to my knees. My ears were filled with monsters piercing screeches mixed with the sound of Clementine desperately calling my name. The last thing I heard before the world went dark was the sound of boots and loud commanding voices. I guess the bracer showed up, but still. I was able to fight off those monsters with a branch. What is he made of? That's not something a level 1 civilian should be able to pull off. Okay, so there's something inside this private home that may be interesting. I wonder what's taking him so long. I hope we didn't get into an accident. Hey, he'll be fine. I gave him a pumice stone, so he should be fine. A pumice stone? Slayler is an artist considered a good luck charm. The idea is that since pumice floats on water, the boat won't capsize. I see. And this would be a good story for Monk. <laughs> I've been waiting, Reen. Give me the dirt. So here's what I've heard. <laughs> I'll send you. Okay. Now I have to go to a tavern in the Harbor District. Oh, one of our students is here. Bless you, you're doing well, Miranda. Need a hand? I'll help out a bit if you don't mind. I appreciate the offer, but you should relax a little. You're really gonna have your hands full once you get back, right? As far as I'm concerned, this is your home, so just kick back in a little and enjoy yourself. <laughs> you're always so good to me, Miranda. Oh, it's Leo. You seem to be enjoying yourself. Oh, hey guys, the rest of Class 7 too, huh? Judging by your uniforms, you must be from the same school as Leo. You call her Leo too. I haven't heard anyone outside of the branch campus call her that before. You two must be close. Well, Miranda's pretty much like a mother to all the sailors here. And on top of that, she's an extra kind of those of us about a family. Leo's fleet was full of children like her. But together they made a new family, and it was so happy to let me be a part of it. After the Civil War, they all split up, and... The Silver Whale Escort Fleet was no more. Well, the Imperial Navy is supposed to take over our job now. Hmm, does that mean it was the government that forced our fleet to disband? Yeah, they said it was part of restoring order after the Civil War. Some of us resent, really resented the, that decision. But most of us, including me, just accepted it as the changing times. Most, some of us even joined the Navy. Interesting. Anyway, for Leo's friends, then I've got to treat you to a meal. This is our signature dish. Enjoy. Seafood boil times six. Wow, looks great. Thank you very much. Hey Miranda, does he ever stop by anymore? No, not at all. I've only heard rumors about him. Hmm. Leonora? You look really serious all of a sudden. Do I? Well, it's not that big a deal. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Leo used to come here a lot. She wasn't even 10 the first time she came. She was so full of energy. He that sure takes me back. Seems like she's doing well at the military academy, so that's a relief. What kind of event do we have at the entrance? Someone watching from overhead? Yup. These children of Dragals. These young ones who have taken on the pride of the lion. Let us see what they can do in the face of the oncoming storm. Wow, he actually detected them for once. Instructor? What's wrong? Oh. It's nothing, just my imagination playing tricks on me. Hmm? I don't like it, your imagination tends to have a sick sense of humor. I'm guessing you ha you've got a fan staring at you, or maybe a hater. Heh, <laughs> could be. I do feel the presence of someone out of the ordinary, but are they friend or foe? Now I can teleport to camp properly. Now that Aryan HUD has left us alone. I already got the book and the radio report 
and that wind event of Leonora, so I'm pretty much good. We saw that at the Naval Fortress. Trained military police. Yes, the RMPs. Wait, is that... Claire? Jo temporarily join my party? Ah. My word, it's noisy in here. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, randy Ann. Oh, she saw that scrunchie we gave her, huh? Oh, Instructor Claire, you're here. What brings you here? I've come to say hello and check up on a few things. Good job on your special ops missions this morning. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad I ran to you now. There's something I need to report. Oh, yes, I just, I just got a message. You ran to a group of unknown Jaegers? My, my, I knew you were quick on the draw when it came to information, but I'm still impressed. Hey, I'll bet anything that white bunny told her all about it. That's right, Milliam's here too, isn't she? Can I get some more detailed information about the Jaegers? Yes, of course. Hmm. Reading the errors explained how they encountered the Jaegers and what they looked like. The Jaegers were wearing purple armor. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Even Randy n never heard of them. You too? I couldn't find anything about a corpse like that in the RMP database either. Maybe they were found just recently? No, I don't believe that's the case. As we fought, it was apparent they were highly skilled. Not enough to actually get hit on us, but... Hmm, <laughs> for sure. They knew when to pull back, so I'm guessing they're no strangers to a real fight. I agree. If only we could have checked our emblem. Well, that's the thing. Usually, Jaegers are real proud of their corpse's name and emblem. The Red Constellation was like that too. Oh, that's right. They didn't bar hiding their identity at all when they attacked Crossbell. I see, so that's how Jaegers typically operate. Well, if you want to put it like that, sure. But a typical Jaeger will also dirty their hands and take out some shady jobs just for some Mira. Those of them who, ca who can't even keep a shred of honor through all of that are usually branded Jaeger dropouts, like the trash that attacked Hamel. Hey, I see. With that in mind, it does seem pretty strange. A Jaeger corpse so highly trained but falls outside the norm. There must be a reason for it, right? Either way, the Imperial Army isn't going to take action, are they? No, there are no plans for a full-scale response, not from them or the RMP. Especially given the area surrounding Orcus is under the jurisdiction of the Unified Region's army. On top of that, there are no divisions of the Imperial Army stationed nearby. For all these issues would be magnified due to the Imperial Provincial Council. Hmm, I guess all that makes sense. So it's the opposite of the situation in Sutherland. Here, the nobility's armies are the strongest presence in the area. That's correct, but this time the Unified Region's army will be giving us their full support. As long as there's a railway network we can use, the RMP may be able to give some assistance too. No, I'll make sure of it. Ah, Major. Well, then, if you'll excuse me, I wish you all in your field exercises. Please contact the RMP's Ordis Branch or Milliam if anything happens. Even though she's in a tight spot politically, she's try still trying to help us. Yeah, though it hurts a little to see her like that. Now that I think about it, she was the same when she taught at a police academy in Crossbell. When her principal, a major general in the Imperial Army, was treating me poorly, she really helped me out a lot. I see. She also ha she has also assisted me with missions in the past. Well, it's easy to see she gets the short of the stick all too often. Hmph. <laughs> well, in any event, I believe the best way we can repay her kindness is to bring back some good results. Yes, I agree. That's right, we just got our minds to it. We'll keep an eye on the area during our exercises in the afternoon. I'll see if I can gather any info while we're setting up the communication network. All of you in Class 7, good luck on your special ops missions. Understood. Heh, <laughs> we'll see how things go. Thanks, Toa. Alright, let's get going. Once we're ready, it's off to Raquel. You got it. The same as ever. Hmm, is this all the extra stuff we'll need? Let's get some seafood too. I wanted to make some dinner with it. Do you think it's too much? No, it should still be within the budget. I'll take care of it and let Tatiana know about the additional expense. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'll make it into a great dinner. Here, potatoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I recommend everything. See you again. Did you need something? Yeah, all we get is plain old flaky potato that we could buy anywhere. I was hoping for more unique stuff like strawberry, peach, and watermelon. See you again! 
Thank the goddess we have standing here. Otherwise, we'd be stuck with ra just be stuck with rations. I doubt the Imperial Army has anything even close to this. Guess this is one of the perks of being a student. Just tell me what you need. Come again. It looks like you've made some wonderful progress in your fishing. Here, a gift for you from the Fisherman's Guild. In honor of one who has caught 18 or more different kinds of fish. Expanded Spool G. This will help out a lot. Thanks, Freddy. At this point, you're pretty much a fit master fisherman. From this point on, the Fisherman's Guild has nothing more to give you. Really? Got it, thanks. I don't think I have everything yet. That can't be right. Yeah, I still have... Five more entries. All of them actually have a fishing difficulty. I didn't notice that before. Oh, I see. I have all the fishing gear by now. Rod level max. Which means I can basically catch anything. Hey, the ocean breeze feels great. Nothing like some combat training out in the open air. This is what it means to feel alive. Anywho, I hear you can find barnacles all over the coastline. They're pretty tasty, you know? If you bring me some, I'll cook them up for you. Hey, in certain areas, barnacles are actually known as a delicacy. Is that so? It's actually normal food that normal people eat, then? I guess we can go find some in that case. <laughs> You've got good taste! Yes, that's pretty good at this point in the game. Okay, we don't actually know. We don't have enough shit shells to make too many of those. <laughs> You've got good taste! Nothing from Cork Quartz yet. <laughs> Come again! Yeager's just remind me of Instructor Randy's cousin now. I know she's a bit on the special side, but even then, just imagine there's more like her out there as terrifying. That said, we're developing pretty well ourselves. I know for a fact that if someone like Summerland happens again, we'll be able to deal with it. So bring it on, troops. Hmm. Why would Revelt do such an unnecessary thing? Anyway, the Imperial Army stands as, as I stated earlier. Be sure not to rely on them. Oh, yes, of course. Unidentified Jaegers, huh? I've had a guess. Eh, never mind. Too early to play the guessing game. Just gotta remember to keep our eyes peeled during our field exercises. They say we ought to be... They ought to thank us, so... Hmm. I heard Leonora got permission to leave Ortis. Something about meeting someone important to her. I'm almost jealous. I'll take a... You know, see you later. You're headed to Raquel now, right? Yes, to finish up our request. Military finance is working on the communication infrastructure in Lemaire, right? Yeah, Stark and uh, uh, Instructor Toa made the arrangements. But by tomorrow, you should be able to use your Argus too in many places. Thank you again, military. Military finance has really been helpful to us. Let's. Hmm. I. Heard those Jaegers up to something. You don't suppose they're after the Imperial Provincial Council, do you? But what good will it do for them to interfere with the council? Ah, I'm stuck. No. We'll keep gathering information on Jaeger activity. So you just focus on taking care of yourselves during the field exercise this afternoon. Uh, the field exercises never go the way I expect them to. Um, if you ever get injured, please let me know. I'll make sure to take care of you. Of course, thank you. Mysterious Jaeger corpse. What could they be planning? Who well, I'm familiar with our field exercises by now, but I really can't let our guard down. My guard down. This has become normal, but I sense an ominous aura from this area. I just hope nothing happens to my father. Well, what am I saying? I don't care about that drunkard one bit. Maya, I believe she has what you call, would call father issues. Yeah, she seems like it. I don't know the exact details though. Hmm. Whew, we're only half through half of day one. Field exercises are tough as usual. But, all, but right now I'm revved and ready to go. The summer festival is just around the corner after all.
Mm, Tita's not in here. It appears a new destination has been decided upon. I don't think I will be needed just yet, but please be careful as you progress. Hmm. Nope. I still need to get more. Uh, one more uh, item for Gustav, I think. The Spiegel and Dragon may look similar, but the ins their insides are actually pretty different. It makes being Nints a bit more involved, but I've grown more fond of them. I guess Pablo and Tito are really rubbing off on me. Sounds like you're really hanging it off as an engineer. Let's get it here. There you are, Tita. It's got enough fr for us, but the integrity of the frame is... Which means I should change the shape of the... Uh, he seemed pretty busy. Uh, sorry, something's been worrying me since this afternoon. Still, if you need me, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, you're as passionate as ever, Tita. Hmm. wonder what she's talking about. She can improve the thrusters. Jessica's ability to pilot the Spiegel is really good. I've been practicing with a dragon, but Freddy isn't too shabby with it either. Uh, what will it take for me to control the Panzer Soldats like those two? Mm, if I do yo enough yoga and get more flexible, maybe the Panzer Soldats' movements will be more fluid too. How do you reach that conclusion? Hey, <laughs> he's just an idiot. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.